say that I am like yelling like a man like a grown man while I sit here and I'm nom 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 watch one piece again I'm like I'm like talking to Kobo I'm like yo you don't understand how good this is I'm not even talking about the food dude I know you're looking at that but the show man I'm not like, I'm dying I'm dying man please someone comment if you, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about Since I have some bare minimum energy, I will cut these potatoes and sweep to you guys. Um, so working with the new coach, love, love it. The three things that I like that she has added, my coach, um, her name is Cami, team exclusive. If you look it up on Instagram, I'll link it somewhere on the screen. Very good. 
But I like that during check-ins, they're one weekly, two, <clears throat> they're, there's like an open line for communication every week. Um, so obviously you can text her, but even in like your check-ins, there's this, she gives you a template that's like a section for concerns and questions. And the ones that I like is like three positives without the week, like throughout the week and three things you like love about yourself. And it has to just be yourself, not like family or friends or anything like that. So I like that because it gives you more of a focus on yourself during this and a positive outlook on a lot of things because it's almost like, hey, three good things that happen to be grateful for. And I don't think a lot of people take the time to have like a gratitude moment throughout the week. So I like that. And then there's also this like section in the workout plan and just in like the lifestyle plan where it's like, okay, meditate every day if you like every day for at least 10 20 minutes and like sometimes i'll get only five minutes in but i just like that that's in the plan and like that that's like required you know because it's good not a lot of people sit down and just take deep breaths for a while so that's the plan and then the video i'm making now with the morning routine like that was all my breakfast and stuff and ideally in the morning that would also that video would also include like me but excuse me the video would also include me stretching and like doing the glute stuff like physical therapy movements just to keep that up so most of the things I was already doing before I started this prep and I I mean before I started this off season working with this coach and I was like yeah, hell yeah, I'm a step of the game. But, <clears throat> woo, the food I have to eat, wow. Um, not entirely a lot, not really a little either. But man, the amount of fiber. Like, I'm using the bathroom four times a day, if you know what I mean. I'm just like... I'm madly impressed with my body that that it that it can digest food that fast. You know, do what it does that big and whatnot. Like it's insane. Speaking, if you get what I'm saying, like wow. So that's another thing. What else has been going on this week? I went to church. Very proud of myself. That was the one goal I actually set out to have, and I actually went. I haven't been in months. I felt so bad. I was just lazy. I've just been so lazy, dude. And like today, I barely had any energy. But I still went. A win is a win. And I'm just prepping food. I mean, Sunday's my full rest day. So I'm just prepping food. And I really don't want to go outside the rest of the day. It was all rainy yesterday. And I had stuff to do. And I was like, why can't it ever just be rainy and gloomy so I can put on a black hoodie and stay inside on the days that I'm on full rest day? But, you know, it doesn't always work out like that. Still, pretty good rest day, meal prepping. Every... Sounds kind of weird. Every week is almost usually the same. I do the same thing, like, every day. Um... Yeah, I mean, life updates... I'm feeling better. I'm excited to see the changes. Right now in the off season, I kind of do have an idea for what I want to do next year in terms of competing. And I do in my head kind of have this like expectation of when I want to start prep and get that rolling to compete next year in 2025. But Honestly, it's better to just focus day by day. Because I have, I mean, I'm probably going to be six months into this um, off season before I even start talking to my coach about a prep and a show and whatnot. Oh my gosh, I'm so much That's pretty much all we got going on. And hopefully in 2025, you know, knock on wood, nothing happens. I'm competing in figure. In a figure division for the first time. 
Love you like a sister. I can't stop saying that. Thank you so much, big old broski. Love you like a sister. <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna cut more. I've just been on TikTok. Oh, why go low? Go high so you can see me. Why go low? When they go low, I go low. Uh. R.I.P. Oh my god, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Anyways, what is there to talk about, guys? I'm so tired. Like, I want to take a nap, but then I know it's just gonna mess my sleep up. I want a Celsius. <laughs> um, so, like, Rachel, send it to me, please. Let's talk about things that I can't get off my... Let's talk about TikToks I can't get... Can't stop saying. Number one, Brandy Broski. <laughs> Fit for... <laughs> Fit for big old Broski. <laughs> Another one, um... Smell of shit. <laughs> and then, Rachel, send it to me, Rachel, please. Only because Bernie Bros. <laughs> I forgot about it until she kept saying it. Um, what else is there? There's nothing behind these eyes. I'm too tired to even think. I've just been scrolling on my phone for too long. <gasps> how about how about this? I'm gonna watch One Piece. Oh, see, even that sounds exhausting. It's just watching something, but. <sighs> what are we even doing, guys? Grow up. Grow up. 